Hey guys, we have an unboxing to do. So this unboxing is of a new doll that I might be collecting. I don't know yet. Hello, Lola. I don't know if I'm going to actually start collecting these dolls or if this is just going to be a one-time thing. So let's go ahead and get these boxes and goodies open. Um, I don't think I need my glasses. Okay, so I go straight. Okay, let's do this one first. Okay, so here's the first thing that goes with this box. It's a cute shirt that I got from one of my favorite smart doll designers, Elite Doll World. So she makes doll she makes doll clothes for this potential new doll that I might collect. Saw this, love elephants, had to have it. Here it is. This can tell you how small this doll is. And this is a dress. guys know I love butterflies, so I had to have the dress, too. So, cute little dress. Now let's get to this doll. Ooh, okay, I gotta take a break, you guys. My back's hurting. Oh my goodness. probably getting dizzy but I wanted to have it the right way. This is the back of the doll. So, this is a, the back of her. That's what she looks like. Unfortunately, I do not read. I believe this is Japanese. So I don't read Japanese, but a cute picture. Here's another picture of her. Let's see, is there anything on this side? Same picture. And. Here she is. I saw someone, one of my um, Instagram friends, she had one of these dolls with her smart doll and I absolutely fell in love. Um, she's adorable. I can't wait to actually get her out, change her clothes to something more modern 
and see exactly what she looks like with a smart doll. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her out of the packaging and we can take a closer look of her. Okay, so I have her out of the packaging and we're gonna go ahead and look at her a little closer. Let me put you on here. Now, in her package, they included two booklets. I haven't looked through them yet. Um, so, this is her, and I guess the um, brunette version of the white and pink Sahara. has both of them here and it looks like it goes into what the outfit is consisting of here's some pictures of them I guess these are more options for them right with this outfit so this must be some additional options for them i like this school girl set these are cute I like the redhead and the um blonde with the bob and brunettes well the black hair is cute too so. a closer look so that's the first book and then they give you a maintenance book basic things I guess soap and water how to take care of clothes how to dress her do her hair so, I guess this is her warranty card or registration information all of that was included um, from the research that I did on her I want to say she's from 2015 so she's a little older but they do have a 30th um, anniversary one coming up in January that I really like but we'll see how much I like these dolls Now, I did get her at a pretty good price on Macari. You guys know I go to Macari and eBay for my things. So, let's look at her. Let's take this plastic thing off of her head. Um, they say her face is made out of silicone, so it is squishy. She has decal eyes. They're not painted on their decals. Um, her hair is nice. Soft and silky. Um, could be a tad bit more um, fuller or thicker, but it, it's a nice quality. Um, love the dress. Feels like she might be made out of hard plastic. Where the body is. Here's the joint of her knee. Um, you can move her foot up and down. Let's see. So yeah, she has the newer body where she can stand with her legs a little further apart than the other. They have lots of bodies for these dolls. Oh my goodness. I was going crazy over the weekend. But the other doll, their legs don't. They just stand together like this. They don't spread apart like this. I don't know. Maybe she'd be riding on a motorcycle or a scooter or something. But So she does have the newer body, which I like. Um, the hands do come off like 
Um, let's see what else do I have? Like with Grace, Marie Fitzpatrick by Robert Tonner, and the Rainbow High Dolls. Who else do I collect that has hands that come off? Alwyn, another Tonner doll. So, I'm familiar with the dolls that have the hands that come off. So, there you have that. Um, her arm bends like so. Yeah, I guess she could... Yeah, we'll see. I have to put her hand back on. So, let's try to get her undressed. Oh, it's Velcro. Should be pretty easy. Okay. I should just take these shoes off. The shoes, oh my gosh, you guys are so small and cute. Great detail in this shoe. Great detail. Let's put the shoe back. That's one thing that I did forget to do. I forgot to buy her some shoes. But those shoes are basic. They should be able to go with um, the outfits that she has. So here's her feet. Basic up-down motion. There is another doll that has a um, high heel foot. And you actually swap out the feet. I was looking for her, but everywhere that I looked said that she sold out. Let's see. Let me take this off. Let's the rest of this down. Cool. I'm going to mess your hair up. I guess I should have taken this off first. I always forget about these underskirts. I should basically take those off first. Makes things a lot easier. Let's see. This is a snap. Mm, cute panties on. It's cute. Cute pink panties. Let's see what else am I forgetting. Okay. So now the dress can go off easy. Here's her nice top. That's a really, really cute top. I like it. Get her some jeans. She'd be good to go. Yeah, cute girl. Cute girl. I don't know, you guys. I think I might be in trouble. But she is very, very cute. Um, the only downside... Um, they don't come in beautiful chocolate, but that is okay. I am loving all dolls. Let's fix her panty. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, she is adorable. Yes, she does have that arm that I was looking for. The other dolls, their arms only go up and back like that and up like this i think her arm can actually go all the way around look at all the way around so she has the body that i was hoping for um let's get her and dressed up in this dress from my favorite elite doll world. She has these dolls. And I was talking to her over the weekend. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah. I might have started something you guys. But if you've been following my channel. You know it's, it's really easy for me to find a new doll to fall in love with. So. I'm bad. She says it goes on through the neck. You slide through the feet. And there she is. 
Oh, you guys, she's so cute. I think the pants that I made for her might be too big. I tried to make her um, some leggings over the weekend from this pattern that I found on Etsy. So, I think it might be too big. But supposedly some of the um, rainbow high clothes fit. Some of them are a little big. Okay, put your hands on. And get you over to our area. Actually, you put your shoes on too. I actually have to measure her feet because I found these really cute um, Gucci shoes. But I have to make sure they're going to fit her. Okay. There we go. Supposedly they can stand on their own. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. I believe in doll stands for my dolls. Oh, yeah. I might be in trouble. And actually, I think these are cuter than Rainbow High. I'm sorry to say. Oh, y'all can't even see her. I'm enjoying her all by myself. Okay. Yeah, she's cute. Um. Whew, I'm tired, you guys. I need to take a break after this. So, supposedly you can stand. Let's see how true that is. Mm, no. Get your feet right. Yes. You're not really wanting to stand. Wow, you guys, look. This cutie is standing. Wow. Look at her. Cute face. And when I saw her originally, she reminded me of Mirai. So I had to get her. So there she is. Um, let's see. Get Penelope and see how they look together. Come on, continue to stand like a beautiful young lady. There we go. They look adorable. <laughs> Let me take you off the stand. Look at them, you guys. I'm in love. I love this dress by Elite Doll World. You guys know I get a lot of my smart doll clothes um, from her. So, again, I'll be getting some clothes for these adorable girls. Now, okay, let me see if I can remember the name of the doll. They, the name of the company is Azone. That's A-Z-O-N-E. The brand of the doll is Pure, P-U-R-E. Second word is Nemo, I believe. And it's N-E-E-M-O. That's what they've been coming up when I look for them. Um, I have to measure it as well. Let's just do this. Hold on. Uh, let's see who we want to use. We will use Karma. Karma wants to come off the stand. Okay. So, let's see. Fake. Yeah. So rainbow high. Ooh. Oops. We had a tumble. So let's see if we can fake it 
here. You two stand together nicely like young ladies. Sorry, Penelope, we don't need you anymore. So yeah, Rainbow High dolls are definitely bigger. And yeah, like I said, A-Zone is a little cuter. Sorry, Rainbow High girls, y'all. I forgot to show you guys the background of the box that she was actually in. This was the actual back of the box. It makes a nice um, picture background for her. So, just wanted to show that to you guys and get ready to hopefully take her outside. Um, trying to figure out how I can get her to stand outside. I don't have any doll stands small enough for her since she has such a small waist. I did try this, but it's too um, wide here. So she ends up wobbling. So um, someone did tell me that I can use a stand for a Blythe doll. So I'll just have to buy one of those. But I still want to kind of take her out today and get some pictures of her. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. But that's what I'm working on next. Um, I really like her. She's really cute. Between me and you, I kind of wish I had discovered her before Rainbow High because she is absolutely adorable and I've noticed that I'm starting to love the Japanese dolls a little bit more than the American dolls um, I don't know just 35 years of collecting the same old thing you need something new so here is my new and I love them all here's all of my heads that need bodies. I know they look terrible, but I usually have them over here. But we're taking pictures and meeting cute new girls. So that's it, you guys. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys again.